on quite some journeys, road shows <laughs> it's been together. A long year. Yes. When we did all this, what did you learn about what's the most exciting part of BlackBerry 10? Oh, that's easy. So for me, it's got to be the BlackBerry Hub. One of the things that I noticed um, is I've got email, I've got Facebook, I've got Twitter, LinkedIn, BBM, everything combined together. And one of the things that I wanted to focus on is managing all of this. How do I save time? How do I reduce stress? Well, BlackBerry 10 and the BlackBerry Hub allows me to do that. So why don't you just show us how yeah, it works? Yeah, sure. So first off, I'm actually going to show you what we mean by BlackBerry Flow. And you mentioned it earlier. It's about moving in between applications. It's not about home buttons, opening, closing. You can see as I open up applications and minimize them just by swiping from the very bottom how effortless and easy this is. I have all of my applications running real time. Right? Nothing's being paused. This is real time, true multitasking. And it feels fantastic. But you know what? Sometimes you get immersed in a lot of content. This display is gorgeous. And you often have a cinematic experience, no matter what you're looking at. And you know, Torsten, you and I have kind of been looking at a lot of car videos recently. So uh, I'm sure you'll remember this one. And you wow. could be on the internet. You could be in a game. You could be reading a document. It doesn't matter. You're immersed in that moment. So let's play this for you now. Good. Now think about this. I'm connected in so many different ways. And I want to be able to look at what's just come in. So that red light, that famous red flash starts blinking. What do I do? Well, by peeking to the hub, I've never left the experience. Nothing's paused, nothing's compromised. It continues to operate. Fast, fluid, reversible gesture. Wow, fantastic. So easy to use. <laughs> Really multitasking. Exactly. I do just enjoy this video, by the way. So yeah. one of the things you'll notice. But I didn't do this with my car. <laughs> so one of the things you'll notice is I've got a bill that's come in. Don't really care about it. Get back to what I was no, doing. You don't right? want to read bills. There you go. <laughs> I delete them anyway. So if you look at this activity in and out, that doesn't exist on BlackBerry 10. It's about flow. And this is the experience we're delivering. Now let's say something important does come up. Let's say it's a BBM, like uh, my buddy Gianni. Hey, are you busy? Uh, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> so you can see how we've moved from content straight into my managing everything. This is the power of BlackBerry Flow and Peak. And, and you know what I find exciting? Yeah. Is that with this flow, we have designed a user inter interface and experience. You can only do this one-handed and with one thumb. Did you recognize this? Exactly. Only one thumb and you have the full control of where you want to go and what you want to do. It is a fantastic Gorgeous. experience. So Simple and easy. You know, now we're in the BlackBerry Hub. How about I show you some more? You'll notice that everything's easy to manage. Like I said, it's all of my channels. It could be anything. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. You see, if I filter each view, see a friend of mine has sent me a request. Now leaving the Hub, I can confirm and accept that right there. And you're not opening Facebook, right? No, it was exactly. It's deeply integrated into the hub. So there's no in and out. There's no think point of you know, which, which application do I have to use. No, you're just naturally flowing and responding to what's coming into you. Exactly. Same for LinkedIn. You know, even with Twitter, one of the things that I love to do is actually tweet straight from within the hub. And again, you can do that right here. So imagine it's not just about managing messages coming in. It's all of your activity, engagement, in one single place. But it goes beyond that. So you, know, you and I have a lot of messages. And I tell you what, I'll hold that down. You can see how gestures come in to manage. I'll delete the bill because I don't really care about it. <laughs> now, you'll notice that as I have more and more content come in, I can action more and more things. There's a vacation email that I do need to, what? at some point, take what? a break. What? A vacation. I'll, uh, I didn't approve that. I'll tell, I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so I'll flag that for later on. And again, you can see how easy it is to manage. Like I said, it's not just about messages. It's not just about things that have just come in or things in the past. It's about things that are about to happen, right? your next meeting, your next event. Well, with a single gesture, I'm able to pull down and look at exactly what's coming next. And again, without having the calendar open, it's part of the hub. It's integrated into the hub. Exactly. So you have the past and you have the future at one swipe of them. Fantastic. Great. Love it. Love it.
Now, you and I obviously have a lot of meetings, and the most important thing, certainly for me, and I know it is for you, is the people you're meeting, mm -hmm. right? Who, why, when did you last meet them? Well, let me show you a meeting on BlackBerry 10. You can see the details coming in. But the most important thing is people we automatically start pulling down photos from social networking sites like LinkedIn, so you know who you're meeting. You're not stumbling around in a coffee shop trying to find out who you're about to meet. You know, if I select like Greg, you can see the content starts populating. This is all real time. You'll notice that we've actually recognized all the connections and networks that you have with Greg. We've also pulled in experience, education from LinkedIn. Everything's kept up to date. And we know that Greg, like me, uses a BlackBerry. So you can invite him to BBM straight away. It's that easy. But it goes beyond this. You also want to know about Greg's environment. So what we're doing right now is pulling information about company information, social updates, posts on Twitter, Facebook. Doesn't that look just beautiful? And that's it. It's as simple as that. Cataloging all that information and real-time updates. And then lastly, activity. Think of the last time you met Greg, the last email you exchanged, the, the last phone call, the last Facebook tweet. All of this historical timeline comes together. And you know the beauty of this, and I mentioned this earlier, I love the BlackBerry Hub. Well, we didn't leave the Hub right. the entire wow. time. Doing all of this out of the Hub. I mean, think, think about doing what Vivek just showed us on, on a different system, right? You ha would have to go to LinkedIn and search, Facebook and search. You would have to open exactly. several browser pages of the company, of the individual. And here, you just have the fingertip adapted to you and it gives you immediate information that is real, that you need at that very moment real time. That is the benefit of the hub, right? Don't search anymore. The device adapts to you and your meetings and what you need to know and it delivers the content that is really meaningful. That's a very strong concept. Yeah. So we talked about uh, the keyboard. I yes. showed the physical and you know we talked about the